This is one of the main events for the evening. And they're away for the men's 1500 meters. The time to watch 3.34.20 is the qualification standard for the World Championships. And immediately, King Ryan, Ryan Mpatele, goes to the front as he's tracked by the figure of Elijah Manangoy. Manangoy with that distinctive uh, gait, lean forward gait, and uh, he is a silver medalist. The question is, how close can they get to that 3.34 mark uh, as they stride forward now for the men's? 1500 meters 45 seconds is like something we're looking for through the first 300 meters as the pacemaker takes them through in 41 so a very very good start there and uh, they are on track for a fast time definitely on track for a fast start and you can see these men mean business looking for around about a 56.5 over the first of 400 meters and they look well on track to do that, 55.49. And it is that man, Tepiso Masalela, doing a great job here, leading them out. They're looking at a time of 221 at 1,000 meters. That will set them up really good uh, for a fast time. They didn't have a pace at all last week Friday, but this time around they have it. And look out for the men there in third place. It is the man from Kenya, uh, the man who is definitely one of the favorites in this one, a legend. It is Manangoy stuck in that uh, third position, but look out for him, he's dangerous. Mpatele has met with him before. He's not afraid of uh, the Africans. Uh, he's done so well at the uh, African Championships where he brought back a silver medal. So he knows how to run from the front. He knows how to run aggressively. So let's see what they will come through as they approach the 800 meter. They're looking at a time run about 152, 153 mm, mm. Uh, to really set them up uh, for a fast uh, time. Woo! Look at the fast feet of Ryan Mpatele now almost going around the pacemaker. He's spoken about the importance of running fast times and now at they get to the 800 meters the time they're looking something about a 154 153 perhaps at 800 meters so they are on course and i think they will quicken it up over these last 700 meters masalela now pushing forward even more as mpatela urges him on coming round the bend for the penultimate time this is good strong running and elijah manango has been dropped back into the pack with tepo Sita and kosnati Spia now getting closer to ryan mpatela Mpatele on the hunt, 221 is what he needed at 1,000 and is looking very good at this point. It's all about that fast finish. The finish we saw last week Friday is what he needs to provide now. Tite tucked in into second place and in third place in Kosinadi Sibia, 236 at the clock now. He needs that fantastic finish that we saw last week and that will bring him into well under a 335. Mpatele on the hunt, he's going for it at this point. Last 300 meters of this race and you can see him moving. Tite are starting to tuck in now but it looks like the distance that is uh, built from Ryan is too big for them to cover and Kosinati Sibia also trying to fight to work his way back in this one but it is Ryan Mpatele going for the jugular he's going for the jugular and the coaches are lining the side of this Greenpoint athletics track pumping them up because they are on course to qualify for the world championships 334.20 but Tepo Tite is fighting back his coach came to the side and told him to go Ryan Mpatele and Tepo Tite go at it again onto the home straight for the second time in as many meets Mpatele was triumphant on Friday Tepo Tite won to win it again but will he they take the line and Mpatel is victorious again look at the time as Ryan Mpatel passed our best qualifies 332 with Tepo Tite coming in second they work together again and Ngosnati Smia comes in close to them again as all the men celebrate it is the fastest time in South Africa for years and years and years and fabulous performance here at the Cape Milers in Durakad Invitational my goodness what a performance Ryan and the Lion Mpatele does it again he gets the victory he gets a fantastic performance my goodness look at that and we have to hear from this man we have to hear from this man speaking to him over the last few days he said it's all about fast times he says the cape feels like a second home to him as we see the figure of glenn bentley there